Hello students and I hope you are really having a very good day today. So the uh, topic that we will be discussing today will be community nutrition. And as you know that India is a very big nation. It has a very big population. Some of us are very rich. Some are not very rich. And some of the people are basically belonging to the poor areas and they are poor in uh, when you say I mean like they are living in tribal areas they live in urban slums they live in villages and their nutrition is not up to the mark because India is basically a country where there are a lot of farmers where there are a lot are lot of villagers and the global hunger index of India has decreased post COVID okay so um, when we talk about community nutrition the government of India has taken out a lot of programs and the ministries the ministry of health and family welfare the uh, ministry of uh, uh, social and women's welfare there are ministry of uh, education and cultures etc etc many ministries who have taken the responsibility for implementation of different kinds of programs so as to improve the nutritional status as well as to improve the level of education amongst the people of India right from children to adolescent uh, chil uh, to adolescents to adults and also uh, they uh, provide uh, food nutrition and education to pregnant females and lactating mothers okay and also for the uh, people who are old aged so they have very different community nutrition programs which are responsible for different different programs so the first community nutrition program that we'll be talking about is the vitamin A prophylaxis program. The vitamin A prophylaxis program and who is responsible for the, uh, the ministry that is responsible for the vitamin A prophylaxis program is the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So who are the beneficiaries if we talk about the target group we can also write beneficiaries beneficiaries are those who benefit for from this program so this program is not for just everyone it is for basically for children between the age of one to five years children between the age of one to five years and the services provide is two lakh uh, international units of vitamin A every six months to children who are under six years for the control of nutritional blindness. Okay, so earlier this the name of this vitamin A profile access program for nutritional blindness control. This was the name which was there. Okay, then there is another program which is also run by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And that is the prophylaxis against nutritional anemia. And you know what is nutritional anemia? Nutritional anemia is the iron deficiency or the uh, low amount of hemoglobin in the blood of anybody who is uh, suffering from anemia. And nutritional anemia means that he is lacking in the right nutrients in, from his food, which is why he is getting anemia he or she whatever okay so nutritional anemia who is more prone to it preschool children pregnant women and lactating females are very much prone to get nutritional anemia because of the uh, diet that they are taking is not very rich in iron in vitamin b12 in biotin in uh, folic acid etc etc so this uh, Profile Access Against Nutritional Anemia Program, which is run by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, is given to preschool children. They are the beneficiaries, pregnant females and lactating women. And what is the provision? The service provided is provision of iron and folic acid. This is important provision of iron and folic acid tablets. We call them IFA tablets. Okay, together iron and folic acid makes IFA tablets to uh, preschool children, pregnant and lactating females or nursing females so as to combat nutritional anemia. Alright. And the third uh, 
a program which is again run by the ministry of health and family welfare is iodine deficiency disorder control program or it was called as NIDDCP national iodine deficiency disorder control program and what are the beneficiaries or the target groups the population who are at risk from goiter now as we've discussed before that iodine deficiency occurs in mainly in a there are certain iodine uh, uh, there are certain goiter endemic areas where there is iodine deficiency because uh, see iodine you get from sea salt or maybe you get from the sea so sea fishes and uh, people who are living next to the sea the sea salt has good amount of iodine and this through the water or through the soil it gets into the fruits and vegetables and the people who live next to the sea they do not have any iodine deficiency but for people who are living in the hilly areas basically they over there because of the you know this land uh, the erosions of soil what happens is that the uh, iodine also gets eroded because of which they become at risk for development of iodine deficiency so this is given to any population which is at risk from goiter or maybe we can say that population the population that is residing in the goiter endemic areas and what uh, is provided iodized salt so if you are not eating iodized salt you may be at a risk of an iodine deficiency disorder so what is important that iodized salt is given by this iodine deficiency disorder control program all right next we come to the second ministry which is the ministry of social and women's welfare let me just erase the upper one this is the ministry for social and women's welfare so this must be concerned about children and females like pregnant females and nursing women specially so the first program is the icds or we call it integrated child development scheme okay integrated child development scheme icds it is given the beneficiaries of this scheme are children of still the time they are 6 years old pregnant females and nursing women the package of services which is given they get time to time immunizations they get health checkups even the pregnant female as well as the lactating females and the small children are given health checkups from time to time they are given referral services that if you refer uh, somebody to this icds scheme you will be getting money okay certain amount of money is given so these are referral services then supplementary nutrition maybe one small feed in the day is given through the icds maybe the preschool children are given small amount of meal uh, say uh, some amount of calories which is given to them so they are given supplementary nutrition then non formal preschool education that is given absolutely free of cost through the scheme of the icds non formal preschool education okay and nutrition and health education to women of 15 to 45 years so nutrition and health education what should be the exact nutrition and health what can they do to the food to increase their nutritive values what how can they supplement things with the nutritious foods so this kind of education is given to females between the age of 15 to 45 years the second program which is run by the ministry of social and uh, women's welfare is the special nutrition program or the snp special nutrition program and the special nutrition program is given to it is given to children who are 0 to 6 years old along with that it is given to pregnant females and nursing mothers in the urban slums tribal areas and rural areas okay the ones who are belonging to urban slums as in in cities they are they are slum areas and cities so this kind of special nutrition program is run for 
expectant females, nursing mothers and children who are living in earth, either urban slums, tribal areas or rural areas. And what is given to them? Supplementary food that provides at least 300 kilocalories for children or 500 kilocalories for adults and 10 gram of protein to children and 20 gram of protein for adults. It is given daily to children and mother for at least 300 days a year. Okay, so 300 out of 365 days, 300 kilocalories for children, 500 for adults, 10 grams of protein for children, 20 for adults given for 300 days. So it is 300 by 365. They are given one small meal. Okay, and this is this special nutrition program. There is one more program which is run by the same ministry and this is known as the Baal Badi Nutrition Program. Now, what is the Baal Badi Nutrition Program? It is for children 0 to 6 years, again pregnant females and nursing women in uh, severely affected drought and flood areas. So, for children or females who are uh, there, there who are caught up in an emergency situation, there the Balwadi nutrition program runs. And what is the package of services of the Balwadi nutrition program? There is supplementary feeding, there is special nutrition therapy for malnourished children. Now, when there, there has been a hazard a hazard okay maybe um, it is a natural hazard or it is a man-made hazard any kind of drought or flood whatever ha happens the children or the uh, pregnant females they are not able to get the right amount of nutrition because of the scarcity of water and food so there is a special nutrition therapy which runs for malnourished children those children whose weight is lesser as compared to their age, okay? Then blankets and clothing is given for the needy people. Those who are in need of blankets and clo clothes, they are given blankets and clothing. Drinking water is given, safe, clean drinking water is given and health education is given to the uh, people who need it, okay? So that is your Balwadi nutrition program and these three programs were run by the Ministry of Social and Women's Welfare.